Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a reveal of a pretty unique LV item. Uh, I've only seen three other videos for it here on YouTube, two of which are by the same person and the other is not easily found. I just happened to cross it one day. Um, the name of the item is not in the title of the video and it doesn't come up when you search it. Um, but it's a pretty good video. It, it shows up close uh, details of the product. Um, so if I find it, I will link it below. Um, I bought my item pre-loved from Yugi's Closet and it came in this unassuming box. There are no distinguishing features on the box. Um, it does have Yugi's Closet here on the um, shipping tag, but that is about it. It was taped along the three edges and it opens like this, has Yugi's Closet on the top lid, which I think is cute. It is, the item is wrapped in this bubble wrap. It came with the receipt in this envelope. Um, and the item is here in the middle, which came in a pretty thick plastic bag. There's nothing else here in the box. So I'll just set this aside. The bag is a pretty big Ziploc bag and it has what I think is the skew for the item here at the bottom. Taking it out of the bag, it has a Yugi's Closet dust bag. Um, since this is a pre-loved item, it did not come with the original Louis Vuitton dust bag um, and it's missing a few other things which I'll talk about. So this is the dust bag and the item is right here. So this is the Louis Vuitton Crawford Trezor 24. Um, it's just a little trunk. I have the dimensions and the details here on my phone. Okay, Crawford Trezor 24. It's a medium sized treasure case. Um, let's see, and as, as you can see, it has the monogram canvas here on the outside. I'll go through the details of the box now. It's 9.45 inches in length, 4.72 inches in height, and 6.3 inches in width. It has the monogram canvas on the exterior with leather trim around all edges and you can see it also has the LV on the trim. This one is in really good condition. Sometimes you find them where the LVs um, and the coating on this trim has come off. Uh, it has brass um, plates on each corner as well as right here in the front on the front edge. <clears throat> It features an S-lock, which has, um, mine did not come with the key, but I can get that replaced at Louis Vuitton. I just have to bring it in. It has the LV on the top of the S-lock here, and you can see down at the bottom, it has Louis Vuitton. This one's a little scratched up, but I don't mind that. All right, in the front, it has three LVs across, one is being covered up by the S-lock. The side has two LVs. The back has three. And the other side has two, just like the other side. This side is a little bit different than the other side because it has the hinge rivets here also. The top has two rows of three LVs and the bottom has the same. Along the edges of the leather trim are these nail heads. Um, all of my nail heads are there. 
it's in really good condition. In the back, the Vachetta leather pieces are here where you, when you open the lid, it actually bends right there. So it's used as part of the hinge system. On each of the rivets of the brass corner pieces, it says Louis Vuitton on them, on each one. However, on these little uh, metal pieces, the rivets do not say Louis Vuitton. To open the S-lock, you just push on one side. This one sticks a little bit. Um, and this is what the S-lock looks like up close. All right, um, the reason, so I had been looking at this item for a long time. It was actually one of the pieces that got me really interested in the brand. Um, I think it's a beautiful piece. I think I saw it in a picture one time on somebody's vanity. Um, and I just fell in love with it. When I saw this one on Yugi's closet, um, it had a very unique feature, which I'm about to show you. And um, that's what kind of convinced me that I had to get it. This one has the purple microfiber interior. Also, Yugi's closet put in these cards. This is the do not remove tag from Yugi's closet. Um, however, there's no place to attach it, I suppose, so they just put it in there. This card is just the product card with the SKU number. And this one is just saying thank you for shopping with us. All right, now up close of the interior, as you can see, it's beautiful, very clean. There are rivets along the edges here holding the interior in place. They are all along the top here and along the edge here. Only one side has a hinge, the bottom of which is concealed by the um, microfiber lining. Of course, it has the leather Louis Vuitton Paris made in France tag. Um, it's hard around all of the edges of the bottom. However, the top has like a batting and it's a little bit softer. Um, the date code for this item is here on the front. Mine was made in 2006. So it is an older item, but it's in really good condition. Um, it's missing a microfiber lined piece of batting, I guess is the best way I can describe it that goes in here. If you are, if you were to travel with this item, um, I suppose you could place that over um, your jewelry so it doesn't, they don't, uh, the pieces don't move around as much. But this is it. This is what it looks like. I just use the item as a jewelry box um, and have it on my dresser. I just think it's beautiful. It's all handmade, of course. And I'm very happy that I found it. I'll have the details of this box below. Um, the retail value of it now, the replacement value, um, and what I bought it for. I hope this video was helpful. I know that when I was thinking about buying this item, I was searching for videos on it. So I'm hoping that this video will help somebody out that might be thinking of getting it. Um, right now I'm doing about one video a week. Uh, that's really all I have time for. So I'm probably gonna stick to that schedule. Um, but if I have extra time, I'll try and um, fit an extra video in here and there. Uh, I do have a lot of good ideas for videos, so um, look out for them soon. Um, if you haven't subscribed, do that now, and I will see you soon. Thank you.